it all started really uh, with my grandparents. Um, many years ago, they came from a very traditional farming family from this area. Uh, this area was always cheese making, dairy cows made the cheese, and then uh, they used the whey for the pigs, and that was what every farm did. In 1952, they started making the cheese here. The day here starts around five o'clock, uh, where we're milking the cows. The milk from the night before has been stored and chilled down, and that is mixed with the morning's milk. It's driven round to the cheese dairy about half seven. And then it's naturally gravity fed into the, into the vat and heated gently to about 30 degrees. Then we're adding the starter. So around 8.30 in the morning, we add the starter culture. With Cheshire, with our type of Cheshire, with a very traditional Cheshire, we give the, the, uh, the vat two hours of what we call ripening time. Whereas a modern day Cheshire now would probably have as little as 45 minutes with, with a, an awful lot more starter. After that two hour period, we're adding the rennet, which now is an animal rennet. Uh, the vat then will have about 45 minutes to set, and then we will cut the curds and whey. The curds settle at the bottom of the vat, and then we drain the whey off. Um, then we will break the curds. First of all, we start by cutting them and turning the, turning the blocks of Cheshire over probably two, sometimes three times, we go up and down the vat. And then we'll start to break the curd and we'll keep continually testing for the titratable acidity. And when that titratable acidity reaches 0.56, we know it is time to add the salt. So you add the salt, we turn it, we mix it in, and then it's time for grinding and putting into the moulds. We try not to force anything, we like things to happen naturally. And then it's a case of lining them up and putting them on the presses. From there we, we press the cheese gently and it's not till about 10, 11 o'clock at night that I'll go around and put a fair bit of pressure on the cheese to make sure they're pressed in the morning. We're not about fancy marketing, uh, we never will be. Um, it, it isn't really what, what our product's about. It's about giving people something that is real, uh, that is traditional, and we hope will continue to be uh, sold and, and eaten and enjoyed all around the country.